distribution companies are really making it hard to get these new booster box reprints. Either you have to put it in a bundle deal, or they're just really expensive, and it's really keeping the prices for booster boxes artificially higher than they should be. But, before we get into it, we got to talk about today's sponsor. It's us again, Cardinal Gaming. You guys already know, up at the top, top two buttons right here, take you to our TCG player page with all of our card singles on there. Check them out. Down to here, all of our pre-orders, 151 is up, Obsidian Flames is up, uh, some of the stuff for 151 is already sold out. It's it's pretty hype. It gives me some indication that this is going to be super popular, so uh, yeah, pre-order if you can. Come on down here. If I could hold pre-releases, this is where they would be. And uh, Cardinal merch, if you guys want to go support the store, I'm going to put some other stuff up here, uh, like t-shirts and stuff. Nobody wants to buy a hoodie when it's summer, but I got more stuff on the way. But other than that, all right, we'll see you in a few. Okay, bye. Hello, everybody. Mason here, Cardinal Gaming. Appreciate y'all clicking on the video, supporting the channel, supporting the store. You guys just keep doing it, and I appreciate you. I want to talk about the new waves of booster boxes out there. There's there's a lot. There's a lot to choose from. And for the first time in a long time, it feels like whenever I need to, I can actually get booster boxes in for quite a few booster boxes. Not all of them, but for the most part, the most modernist of stuff. It feels like I'm able to just find them. It, it's, it's difficult and they're expensive, but I can get them in stock if I need to. So I want to talk about that today. I want to talk about what effect that has on the market and that these type of, uh, I don't want to say gimmicks, it's fine. It's, it's a way of controlling product flowing around, but uh, the way that these distribution companies kind of um, ensure that they are maximizing their profits when they sell these things to you, because obviously still very high demand, still very, um, for the most part, inflated prices for a lot of the stuff compared to how they used to be. So uh, we're just going to go over it and talk about it and, and see what kind of effect that has on the market. We'll just take a look and see. So uh, I hope this is okay to show. This is my distributor's website, just to kind of give you an idea of the, the first little, uh, little problem with uh, what we got going on. Here we go. Uh, I know it's not much, but as you can see, uh, this is, I, I'm just going to say who it is. It's, uh, it's Mad Al's website. Uh, I don't think they'd be upset with me showing this. I'm not showing the price, so, uh, it is what it is. But as you can see, um, look at all these nice boost boxes they got. They got, uh, Chilling Rain, Battle Styles, uh, Astral Radiance. But as you can see right here, uh, they all are limited to a single box. I can only buy one right there. Uh, all these are limited to one. Uh, let's see what else I got. Keep on flipping through. I should probably have checked to see if that was going to mess something up, but it didn't. Okay. And then even like these ETBs are great. Look at these. Uh, but they're limited to 10. So just a case of those. Brand Star is here. It's limited to two. Fusion Strike, limited to two. We have Voltage, limited to two. There's Darkness of Blaze booster boxes, limited to two. Uh, yeah, a lot of great uh, Lost Origin is available. But again, these prices, guys, that they have them offered at is very high. And if they are not in uh, overinflated prices, they're doing uh, bundles to try to get you to buy other things as well. Oh, like right here. Um, these are, what, Crown Zenith? And, oh my god, what are those? League Battle Decks? Are oh, the Calyrex ones? Oh, god. So, yeah, just, they'll do this a lot where you see these bundles where you can buy the stuff that you want, like Crown Zenith and all these things and uh, kind of get some stuff that they obviously have to try to get rid of. Like that's a Cyclozar EX boxes, these giant Snorlax, uh, Premier Ball, Pokemon Go products. A lot of this stuff uh, is all bundled together. And uh, the prices are, they're, they're normal for what they should be, but uh, yeah, you just have to, they're just tied together to try to get you to, to buy these things all together. And you know, for a lot of, this is a hard thing for a lot of smaller stores out there, because if you just want these tins to stock in your store, uh, you can't do that because you have to buy 12 more Cyclozar EX boxes to try to get these, just uh, a case, which is only six of these Crown Zenith tins. So the initial cost for this product is, is very expensive. And then it's, it's a into other products that you either have to break down and open for packs, or 
you are just kind of stuck with it and, and hope that it sells and you sit on it for a, a lot of stores that are trying to get their foot uh, established and trying to get, you know, just decent stuff for their stores or they have it decently stocked. It's either very expensive, uh, you know, very close to what anybody can buy it off of for a TCG player or, you know, they have to buy these bundle deals or, or limits in place for you to uh, have to follow in order to get stuff. So that's the type of uh, situation that we have going on. And then over here, um, this is, I can show this. This is something I can show. This is Magazine Exchange. Uh, I am not logged in. This is not any, like, gate-kept information here. Uh, all these prices are available for you to look at right now. If you go to Magazine Exchange's website and you click on their weekly specials right here in the middle under Dungeons & Dragons right there, the little button at the top, you can see this too. So this is not me leaking anything. This is not me doing anything. This is, you can go and see this yourself. So, uh, Lost Origin Build Battle Bundles. $108.95. Hey, they're like $140 right now on TCG Player. That's really good. Uh, but uh, you have to take one of these Battle Academies, which is fine. Like, it's just, you're getting free stuff. But that means that this booster box could be, uh, I think I pay like, it's sub $15, but it's I think it's $12 or $10 or something in that range. So this could be a $98 booster box or a... Uh, you know, 96, which is the normal price for a boost box. Uh, I could be getting it for that. And right here, it even says, um, uh, uh, 120 and 95 cents. I don't know why I have to put the 95, but, uh, that's how much these boxes would be without this bundle deal. So you are saving money and you're getting a free thing. That's not kind of cool. But again, uh, it is just additional costs to, in order for me to get my hands on this product. So, uh, otherwise, though, this is actually a, a, a not bad deal. This is pretty good. Uh, 108 still uh, for Silver Tempest. I believe that is still uh, quite a bit below what you can buy it on uh, TCG Player 4. So that's good. And then you get start getting uh, Paldi Evolved. You have to start doing that and, and bundle those things. Scarlet and Violet, you have to start bundling that too. Good lord. So that's the type of stuff that you're seeing. Uh, all the rest of the stuff is, again, if you want to scroll through it. Um, I have... Uh, a bunch of these tins on the way. We'll see if they actually have Evolving Skies in them. They say the packs are not guaranteed, but... Uh, I've bought uh, lunchbox tins from Magazine Exchange. I bought, like, 14 cases or something ridiculous of these lunchbox tins, and they showed a picture of Evolving Skies in them. They did not have Evolving Skies in them, so... That's a bummer. I was upset about that, but... They're not guaranteed, so I can't, like, write them a nasty email or something. Uh, but I, I, you know... Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. We'll see if these have the actual Evolving Skies in them or not. We'll see. But uh, you, you can scroll through here. Like I said, anybody can see this. this is all public information. Uh, it's not gate kept behind anything. You can kind of see. It's kind of cool. You get a little deck box with the uh, building battles. Wow, it's really good. Cool. Anyways, enough about that. So, as you can see, these these products are uh, kind of tied together. I'll even show you. Like These are little knots. They're tying these bad boys together in order to keep these prices uh, you know, for them to maximize what they're getting out of the stuff. And then, uh, you know, that also keeps prices high for you guys, the end consumer. So as you can see, even with these deals going on, uh, 140, still the, the lowest and the average selling price for, uh, Boosh boxes, of course, if we kill the sales history here, um, you know, there, there's some lower than that, 30, 130, 135. Um, these must be like just loose packs right here, those cheaper ones, but that is uh, the going rate for Silver Tempest. Seems to be about 140 right now. Uh, so again, uh, I expect this price to go down. This price will go down uh, as people start getting more and more of these booster boxes. Um, and again, I showed you just two distributors that have them available right now for different deals. So they're all out there. They're all getting hit, and the market's getting hit with them right now. Let's see what uh, let's see what Lost Origin is. Sorry, I didn't load this. Let's load this before now. I should have. I'm sorry. But uh, as you can see, uh, it was on its way up the second that they announced reprints and speculated on when those would show up. Uh, boom. They crashed this price down to right around the old MSRP. Remember MSRP of boost boxes were uh, 140? That's pretty sick. What a time to be alive. But went down to like 145 and then now uh, recovered a little bit because we didn't see the reprints. And then now it's dipped down again. But it's, it's still now turning back up. So interesting to see. 
Uh, Lost Origin is actually some numbers selling, some some boxes moving, so uh, that's fun to see. That's good. Um, obviously, Lost Origin is a great set. It's going to age very well. I'm not worried about getting any stuck with any sort of product with uh, with Lost Origin. Still super popular. People ask buy, for it. People are going to buy it. Players want it. it. It's a great set. It has everything going for it. Uh, let's look at some other things. What else can we see uh, on uh, Magazine Exchange? We had... That, oh, let's see what... Uh, Probably Evolve is... It's not going to get any lower, so we don't have to worry about that. Uh, what else we got going on? Uh, anything else? Um, we can even go back and see, like, oh, how, how's Brilliant Stars doing? We can see. Stars booster box. Boop. Again, around 145. Again, but because this isn't available at distribution through the bundle deals with the knots from a magazine exchange, you can get them at Mad Ale, but there's a limit of what? I, th I remember what? Three, two, one, somewhere in that range. It's just a, a small drip feed of getting this product out in the market. And it's, it's, it's not allowing these prices to actually lower at a, a more reasonable pace or to the floor what they could potentially be if people were getting cases and cases and cases of Brilliant Star Booster Boxes. Um, so as far as like the market is concerned, and if I wanted to buy Brilliant Stars, I'd be okay with buying it from distribution, even knowing that it's widely available from distribution, because it's limited. You can only get so many of them right now. So uh, yeah, I can get Brilliant Stars, I can put it on my shelf, and I could probably make, you know, not great margins, because again, I can tell you without showing you the picture, um, it is very close to this price. Very, very close. Like, very close to what that price is. So, not a whole lot of money to be ma made if you're buying it from distribution and you are like an online seller that has to ship it, has to uh, maybe throw it on TCG Player and get the fees out of it. Those guys are not able to buy this product to make money. They just aren't. Um, LGS is like me, though. I can buy it. I can go through and I can put it on my shelf, maybe add, you know, 20, $25 to it and, and be able to make a little bit of money from what I'm having to pay from distribution. So two different ways that are keeping prices up, but is severely limiting who can even buy stuff. Uh, I mean, those hard limits definitely do hurt. And it's also beneficial to uh, Mad Al because, you know, no one's going to go along and just buy three booster boxes and leave. You're going to buy other things. You're going to buy other products and ETBs and all that stuff and combine an order, right? So that's how uh, they're making some more money on top of that too because you're going to keep coming back for the booster boxes of Fusion Strike and Chilling Rain and all that stuff that we can't get and order more things from them. So that's that's the goal with that strategy. And then, uh, like I said, Magazine Exchange just, you know, they're just trying to move move other stuff with it. So they're, they're bundling stuff. And they do bundles like this all the time. Um but uh, both these uh, distribution companies uh, do not hide the fact they charge more for their stuff. And, they, and that's actually, this is for Magazine Exchange, for the market to be what that is, and for this one to be 108, I'm kind of surprised, honestly. I'm kind of surprised it's this low. So uh, I've already bought a wave of these. The prices are holding, uh, even on a TCG player, like I said, I might buy some more just because if this is all that's going to be dipping, and this has been out for even through the weekend. Uh, there's very little risk to me going through and, and buying these. So that's that's kind of like the market situation right now that's kind of buoying, buoying? Like a, a, a buoy? Kind of propping these prices up and, and not allowing them to just drop into nothingness and, and just really crash these prices. Is that distribution companies are either doing us a favor or, or, or not doing us a favor by limiting how much you can get and, and these types of bundles. So wanted to just kind of share that information with you guys and, and you know, for people are looking at this and going like, why is why is Lost Origin even after reprint, this big reprint wave we were supposed to get, why is it still at 140? Why is Silver Tempest still at, uh, you know, 140? That's why. Um, these prices would not be what they were if they were not... Uh, passing the buck so much onto the sellers. So making you guys aware of the, the market situation, 
thought it was an interesting video to make. So hopefully that was entertaining and, and interesting to you. Appreciate you guys watching. Support the channel, support the store. You guys continue to, and I appreciate you. I'll see you guys in the next one. Okay.